In this presentation, we'll discuss what business intelligence is all about and we'll give a brief overview of the course content. In most organizations today, data is not a problem. The organization's operational systems are collecting tons and tons of data. What the problem is, is that the business users are unable or ha don't have the adequate tools to help them analyze that data and to get the real questions that they need answered answered. So there's a big gap between lots and lots of data and what people want to know. The data comes from all kinds of operational systems. It comes from websites, clicks on pages on websites. It comes from uh, the customer relationship management systems. So again, no shortage of actual data, but there is not the ability to analyze that data that organiza organizations need to be competitive. Data is not in a form that is useful to decision makers. In the 90s, businesses invested in all kinds of transactional systems. And as a result, again, we are able to collect lots and lots of data about what's going on in our business, what's going on in our organization. The data collected is not integrated. It exists typically in silos by functional area. So for example, the finance department has a great finance system, turns out great uh, monthly reports and so on, but it's not necessarily closely integrated with the sales system or the CRM system. So we have these silos of information or of data. And we have silos of data that result from mergers and acquisitions where we have, say, multiple sales systems for one large organization. Again, our data is not integrated, so it's not easy to make sense of the overall picture of our organization. Now, in the 21st century, businesses are investing in business intelligence. Business intelligence is about making effective decisions, business decisions, that take into account all of the data that an organization has. One definition of BI is the process by which an organization manages large amounts of data, extracting pertinent information, and turning that information into knowledge upon which actions can be taken. Very important part of BI, actually acting upon the information that's been derived from the systems. Another definition of BI is a broad category of application programs and technologies for gathering, storing, analyzing, and providing access to data to help enterprise users make better business decisions. BI then involves people and technology, and it involves a rational approach to management, and it involves a continuous cycle of measurement, adjustment, and remeasurement. You might view that cycle something like this. We begin by collecting measurements, collecting data. We've pretty much seen that that's not necessarily a problem. But then we need to be able to analyze that data. We need to be able to gain insight based on that analysis. And then we need to be able to put that insight into action within our organization. BI enables organizations to make well-informed business decisions and thereby gain competitive advantage. BI really enables organizations to use information to quickly and constantly respond to changes in today's ever-changing marketplace. Businesses see improved performance based on timely and accurate information as a result of BI. There's an elimination of guesswork and expedited decision-making. 
the decision making becomes very data driven where an organization makes good use of business intelligence. And one of the things that BI typically provides is early visibility of changes, changes in customer buying habits, changes in financial arrangements with um, enterprise partners. So one kind of catchphrase for business intelligence is a single version of the truth. That is, an organization doesn't rely on its finance system and see one set of numbers and then take a look at its sales system and see another set of numbers. There's one consolidated version of the truth that all parts of the organization agree upon. So this means then really that we have accurate, accurate, timely data available to all levels of the organization. I wanted to note that although we call it business intelligence, the concepts and techniques that we include in our coursework and those that are included within the realm of business intelligence are applicable to almost any kind of organization, whether it be a healthcare organization, a biotech organization, education, government. Techniques and concepts are all the same. In fact, we're seeing a very um, large interest in business intelligence within the healthcare and hospital arena right now. To further describe what BI is, we might think about what BI activities include. They include decision support, that's what we used to call it when we write reports and get information out of our systems query and reporting in an ad hoc basis as well. Um, but one of the foremost um, aspects of business intelligence now is online analytical processing. This takes query and reporting to a whole nother level where users can interact with the data real time and change what they want as they follow their thought process through the data. BI activities also include statistical analysis, um, forecasting, and data mining. Data mining being something that's been in the news frequently and again is a whole nother realm of analysis and making sense and making predictions based on an organization's data. Business intelligence users within an organization really ideally would be almost everyone within the organization. They could be analysts, that's what we most typically think of, but they might be executives, information workers, line workers. The ideal, particularly as articulated by Microsoft in their vision of business intelligence, is that every person in the organization has the data that they need to make their decisions in the best possible manner. So whatever level a user is within the organization, they have access to the data that they need.